Welcome to the Lore Sworn War College Hearts of Iron 4 video on technology. Now, before we start talking about technology, we obviously have to take the logical first step for any German player and build a whole bunch of King Ti- What? We don't have King Tigers! The best tank ever invented in the history of humanity! We need to fix that. And the way we do that is with science. The number of research slots you'll start with depends on your starting country, and you can usually unlock more through your national focus tree. Germany starts with four, but regardless, I usually try to pick up the same two or three right off the bat, no matter what country I'm playing. Before we actually select technologies, let's look at the different trees and figure out what they do. Infantry is all about helping your, well, infantry shoot people in the face better. It has such technologies as improved infantry equipment, motorized infantry, and special forces like marines, mountaineers, and paratroopers that are great in specific situations. Support battalions will allow you to add things like engineers, recon companies, and field hospitals to your infantry divisions, which give them various bonuses. And there's the good old King Tiger on the armor tree. Looks like we'll have to research the regular Tiger and some Panzer models before we get down to him. This is also where you can research tank variants. For instance, I could turn my Panzer II into a tank hunter, give it more soft attack against infantry, or create an anti-aircraft vehicle based on the chassis. Artillery is pretty self-explanatory, including field artillery, anti-air guns, towed anti-tank, and eventually rocket artillery. Because who doesn't love rockets? Land Doctrine is probably one of the most important trees in the entire game, and you will ignore it at your peril. While Doctrines do give flat bonuses to your units, the most important thing they do is enable new tactics. Tactics are what your AI commanders will use to try to kill the crap out of your enemies on the battlefield, and having more tactics allows more opportunities to counter the tactics your opponents are using. There are four trees that roughly correspond to Germany, the United States, the European Allies, and the Soviet Union, respectively. The Naval Tree unlocks new boats. The Naval Doctor Tree works like the Land Doctor Tree, but for boats. The Air Tree unlocks new airplanes. The Air Doctrine Tree works like the Land Doctrine Tree, but for airplanes. Engineering allows us to get more science, encrypt and decrypt transmissions, and eventually get nuclear freaking bombs. And the industry increases how many factories we can build and what our country can produce. Now like I said, there are some obvious picks no matter what country you're playing. I normally go straight for the engineering branch and pick up electronic mechanical engineering, which reduces my research time. Getting this early will allow me to get ahead in science for the rest of the game, and the earlier you get this line of technologies, the faster your overall research will be throughout. For my next technology, because I want to be able to build more guns and bombs, I almost always go for construction. and basic machine tools. Construction will allow us to build things faster, while machine tools will increase the production efficiency cap of all of our production lines. Check out the video on production to learn more about what that freaking means. The fourth one is not as essential. You can kind of pick and choose based on what you want to focus on. For example, you could go for synthetic oil, so you don't have to rely on trade as much to get the oil to build vehicles. Personally, I like to go straight down to the next step on the Doctrine path. Having better Doctrines than your enemies will make your troops far more efficient, even if you have way fewer of them. The other thing to remember about technology is that some technology is marked as ahead of time, such as atomic research being four years ahead of time in 1936. If you try to research it too far ahead of time, you'll take a huge bonus. As you can see, this is going to take like five years to research, and it'd be much better to just wait till 1940 and start it then. 
It's okay to sometimes jump the gun a little bit if the ahead of time bonus is less than a year, but generally I try to wait to research stuff until the year that it's supposed to be researched, just to save more science output in the long run. Now that you know all about killing them with science, you can check out our video on production, national focuses, or move on to some of our more advanced ones.